you, John, uh, just being able to break through and get that first sack this past weekend, what, what that was like for you. And I, I know you're not necessarily a stat guy, but to get one, I guess, does it feel good? Uh, yeah, it, it feels great, especially, you know, the impact it had on the game, especially being able to strip the ball out. Mm-hmm. You know, we caused a turnover, so it was good for momentum of the team and to keep us going and really to prevent either three points or seven points regardless because they were deep around in our territory. The sacks was an area where you guys weren't getting as many as we've seen before. So, I mean, just to have that breakthrough game, have a few of them and, you know, force some fumbles. We saw Rousseau also. I mean, how did that feel for the defense in general? Um, it was it was good, man. We, we changed up, you know, what we did, especially for this game. So, it allowed us to get out the, after the pass some more. So, of course, if you allow us to do it, you know, we'll do it. What about mentally? How did that help you going forward? Um... Really, all we can do is, is work hard because nothing's guaranteed. You can win a rush, doesn't necessarily mean you get a sack. So it's, it feels good, you know, it's nice, but instead of same mentality, just keep going. Just be relentless, that's all. John, what, what uh, has uh, Trevon Hill's addition to the roster meant, and what's he like? He's, he's new here, pretty much. Um, he's like um, a Miami Hurricane. He's really good. I'm glad to have him. He plays hard. He makes sure everybody else plays hard. He's a leader. Have you asked him anything? I- I mean, he played for Virginia Tech as part of last season. So, um, can he help you guys with anything? Um, he's for been Virginia Tech-wise, you know. Um, he was a hokey. I don't know. I, I could ask him, but <laughs> I mean, I, I think I think we have a, a pretty good scheme of our own. So we're gonna go, you know, with what coach got up for what, us. What's he like? His personality? What kind of guy is he? It is funny, entertaining, but you know, hardworking and serious when it's time to be. So you know, he's the epitome of a player. How have you seen that Greg Rousseau grow kind of in, in, over the season? Um, really, Greg, you know, he, he's the same guy all the time. He always worked hard even since he first got here. But now he knows what he's doing. So he's able to be on the field and know what he's doing so he can play fast. He made big plays, as you've seen. How big a help will it be when Nesta comes back and, and is, is healthy again and ready to play? Um, it'd, it'd be a big help. Everybody would be glad to have Nesta. Nesta can play really well. And what does he do that's maybe – different than you know, some of the other tackles, or is it just like another guy that sort of does similar stuff that they're already doing? Um, he does what Nessa can do. Nessa is strong, Nessa is fast and physical, and you can see it. You can hear it out of his mouth, too. I mean, he's going to penetrate. He's going to make plays. John, we've heard from your, your teammates and your coaches that you're doing phenomenally on tape and you know what you're putting up in terms of effort. How are teams maybe playing against it differently? Are you seeing a lot more double teams? What would you say is kind of different last year from this year? Um, as, as far as double teams, yeah, they're there because it's not – it's not able to be spread out as much, at least not yet, because these guys are making their mark. Mm-hmm. But, you know, when you had Joe Jackson on, you know, on the other side of you first, mm-hmm. you know, of course, everything was going to him. Mm-hmm. So since they ran to me, of course, I can make all the plays. Mm-hmm. But now that's not the way it is. Now it's the opposite. So with them bringing everything to me, you get double, triple. You know, sometimes as many as four guys can be on you. So all you got to do is keep fighting and just keep on going. That could be a frustrating thing, or that could also be like a pride thing. Like, hey, teams are paying a lot of attention. That's going to help yeah. the other guys out. How yeah. do you sort of take that? Uh, it's it's um frustrating and prideful. I, I mean, I'd be I feel disrespected if they didn't, you know. But you know they need to, and it, it shows in the game. John, how does the so extra week, the extra week help you if it does, or would you just rather play right away? What's the, the benefits and also the opposite? Uh, everybody would love to play just being football players, yeah. but the thing about it is this extra week gives us more time to prepare and focus on what we need to do to um you know to execute execute the game plan properly. What do you know about Virginia Tech at this point? Have you seen much of them? Have you studied them? Um, same team we played last year. I mean, we'll, we'll do, you know, what we need to do. We'll, we'll focus on them. You know, they're, they're not going to lay down. Nobody in the ACC is going to lay down. So we just have to, uh, you know, take this extra time. We're going to watch them. You know, we're going to watch them play, and then we're going to do what we need to do. What's, what was your attitude like in practice after kind of, you know, Central Michigan? I know Coach had a big film session with you guys on Sunday, but the guys come back with a different attitude after that game? Uh, I don't think anybody really was complacent. But, you know, of course, we all want to keep our standard up high, and that's, you know, the fight. So we're going to try to keep playing to our standard and practicing and doing everything to our standard.